You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another thought-provoking episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode number 851. Thank you for joining us. We have 851? Uh, uh no, 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 no. 651. <laughs> I was like, wow! Got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> Pew, pew! Man, I thought EcoBoost was fast. You're killing it. What's funny is our producer wrote down episode 409. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all over the map today. Oh, it's but okay. it is an exciting day because we get to uh, give away a membership. We do get to do that. It's actually very interesting that we're, we're, we're doing that. We like to help people out. We like to give away, as we would say, a, a scholarship to drone you. Yeah. Um, but also, today's episode is very interesting and there's a new company that's come out, a quote unquote certifying used drones. And people have asked the question before, and today's question was even about you know buying used drones, what to look for. And we've kind of hit different points on that uh, before, but we've got a new element to add to this discussion, which we'll talk about today. But before we get there, I just want to say this episode is actually supported by Drone U today. We've got a new class coming up and I'm actually going to be filming the promo video for it. It's a subject tracking class. It will be a live in-person class. We are only going to accept 10 students to that class. In this class, it is subject tracking. We're going to be out on the lake for three days and we're going to be taking students through a systematic process of drills and exercises to hone their skills to fly lower and closer and get really killer cinematic shots while subject tracking. Now, this would be good for you if you're trying to get into boat commercials, you're trying to get into car commercials, you're trying to get into uh, jet ski commercials, ATV commercials, Just action sports, action sports, dirt bike mm -hmm. racing, yep. snowboarding, all of that. If you want to get into that, this class is for you because by the end of this class, you're not only going to learn how to fly, but we're going to go over some editing techniques and how to put together little videos for you to market yourself in this industry. So if you like to get into those types of commercials, you love action sports, or maybe Maybe you just want to be better at flying your kids while you guys are wake surfing around the lake. This is definitely going to be the class for you. Now, the information is not on the site yet. I'm just giving you a teaser. It will be up probably by the end of the week. So check out thedroneu.com probably by Friday of this week or whenever this show comes out. You might even, it might even be Yeah, up. hopefully by the time this show airs, it'll be there. Awesome. Anyway, it is limited to 10. So if... If it's up by the time this show airs, check it out quick because I'm not letting more than 10 people come because I don't think that we can provide value past that point. We, right. we will have multiple instructors, um, myself and Peter will be there. So very excited to it's gonna be good. It's going to be real good. So I'm, very, I'm stoked beyond stoked. I mean, well, yeah. What better way to go learn and because you're going to have a ton of fun. I mm -hmm. don't know. I'd, if I were out there, I'd be going. Oh, uh, you will be going. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, to that is uh, who is sponsoring our question for today. Drone U, subject tracking class in Phoenix, Arizona in October. So make sure to check that out. Rob, why don't you go ahead and play that question before I ramble on anymore and tear off someone's ears as, as, they're, as they're driving. Hey, guys, this is Rob from Clearwater, Florida. Uh, love the site. Love Drone U. The podcasts are awesome. My question is a uh, pretty simple, straightforward one. Um, what is your feeling about buying uh, DJI drones used off of, say, Craigslist or OfferUp, et cetera? Um, would you, and if not, why? Thank you. Thank you, Rob. This is actually a question that we get quite a bit, um, either emails to the support email or actually into the podcast. Um, obviously, people can save a little money if not a lot of money buying used and they're apprehensive as they should be. They should be. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? Is it something that you would do? We've talked about it, but it's been a while. Well, and we have one member who's doing it right now, Kyle. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Kyle Reek uh, out of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. He has, uh, do you know the name of his store? I would love to just give him a plug. 
I would too, um, and I don't know. I'm going to ask of this him store. in the community right now to see if we can get it, a response from him uh, before we're done with the show. But um, anyway, there are a lot of things that you should be worried about, and unless you're very good at reading code, then you're probably going to need someone to really certify that the drone is good. Um, and in all honesty, there are a lot of things that can go wrong from batteries that haven't been taken care of to batteries that weren't stored properly to batteries that have been charged while they're hot to little maybe, mic- micro fractures in the in the drone mm-hmm, to what if the there's solder cracked on the board of the flight controller and all of a sudden you lose an ESC mid-flight because someone already crashed your drone yeah I mean there is a lot that can go wrong and there's a new company and, and I've uh, asked them to come on the show there's a new company out of Florida that's saying that they're essentially like Carfax and they will quote unquote certify drones now it's really interesting because they say they'll certify drones with an FAA aircraft mechanic technician an FAA certified mechanic is essentially what that is and their big marketing spiel is that they're the only ones that actually have an FAA certified aircraft mechanic as of right Right now, though, there is no airworthiness certificate for drones. Like, f- in, if you're mm. in the SUAS category and you're sub 55 pounds, there really is no airworthiness certificate unless it's a home build. So, that is very interesting that they're marketing this um, and that they're saying, like, well, we're the only ones that test fly, we're the only ones that uh, do this and that do that. And um, it's it's just one of those things that, you know, I'm uh, just, again, really, really interested to see uh, what they're all about. And it's fact, a good idea. It's it is, a really good idea. It is a good idea. Okay, so Kyle's company is Superior Aerial Solutions. He says, I also have the Facebook page Drone Repair Shop. Drone Repair Shop on Facebook. So that's one of our friends who's been a Drone U member since the beginning. Mm-hmm. Super awesome guy. Uh, actually, he, he's extremely intelligent. But going back to this company, they say that they're going to systematically go through the drone. They're going to test fly it. They're going to check all these things. But I want to know what they're going to check because they really harp on this certified guy, this mechanic. But I think of people like John McBride and RMUS that just have intricate extremely good knowledge about the vehicles that they put out. Mm -hmm. They're very, very honest about it too. In fact, we know that um, some birds are having specific issues with specific um, camera payloads. And whereas they're being honest and discussing these issues, other companies are just saying like, oh, check out this cool new drone that we have and it works perfect when we turn it on. And in all honesty, they're not showing it flying. Check out their Instagram it's not flying. Right. So you guys, you got to be really careful. And I mean, yeah, I was watching this movie last night called Death Note on Netflix, and it's actually a really, really good movie based on an old Japanese myth. Hmm. And whether it's a myth or not is actually up up for debate. But um, at the very end of the movie, I'm trying to figure out like what happens at the end, because essentially what happens if this guy writes your name in the book, you end up dying, and you write how it had, ends up happening, and it happens like within 48 hours. And it's this inspector who's trying to find the guy who is writing the death note, and they don't show it at the very end whether the inspector finally figures everything out and then writes the guy's name in the book or not Mm -hmm. and they kind of leave you with that cliffhanger at the end of the movie and it's like no (laughs) but like it's those intricate details it's like looking for okay they're showing this on instagram they're showing this on facebook but let's take a step back let's actually look at that and take the excitement out of the equation right Um, and oftentimes in this industry people get very very excited over little things and we can lose sight of what's real and what's honest yeah absolutely one of the things i would wonder about as well is is there any kind of guarantee behind the drones that these folks are selling? Ooh, the depth of the questions just (laughs) went deeper. Um, That's actually really interesting because, you know, when DJI put out the Care Refresh program, it's, it's kind of unstoppable. Like, because they're saying, okay... It, now, there is a big problem, and we've talked about the whole registration stuff, but there's no longer registration unless you're a commercial user. But then again, you still have problems. But with Care Refresh, if you break a drone, you get a new drone like next day, next day air, like boom, get one. But I believe there's a limit on it. I think it's only one drone, but if you are the pro customer service account, it's like unlimited and you can have battery rentals and all that. Wow. So. It's interesting to see how they'll compete with 
the DJI program. But again, love competition. I think it's a great thing for the industry. Um, and I'm trying to bring this group on to really dig down deep to say, okay, do you go through the code to see if there's been an abrupt motor stop? Do you go through the code to see if there's ever been an ESC failure? Do you go through the code to see if there's ever been a communication error mid-flight? Do you ever go through the code and look for a compass redundancy switch failure? Like, what are what parameters are you looking at? Yeah, I would think they have a systematic approach to what they test, particularly depending on the bird itself, because there are some idiosyncrasies. It would be interesting to know a little bit more about that. I mean, some of that is probably intellectual property as far as they're concerned, and they might not share all those details. But it would be interesting just to know how deep they go. He actually just emailed me. Sweet. Yeah, so we'll have that group on later to talk about what they offer in regards to service, what they guarantee, and how they go through things. As I believe, you know, buying used drones, like Drone U could be a great a great system for buying used drones because we train people all the time and the more and more in-person trainings that we do, it would be good to have some used drones. Well, in fact, we have for members a marketplace as one of our groups, right? And people buy and sell stuff in there, which is great. It's just one more value add that members get as part of Drone U because they they know each other and they've gotten to know each other. Generally, even if they're buying something there in Texas and they're buying something from somebody in Florida, they've gotten to know each other via the community, which is really, really cool when you're the looking for The camaraderie in this group is insane. Yeah, it absolutely. It really is. It's something so, you just don't see anywhere else. And that bleeds over into maybe buying a new drone. We just had somebody um, list a really nice Inspire 1 setup, Z3 and everything, for a pretty ridiculous price. Didn't you say you wanted to buy it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough, though. <laughs> that thing Snatched. sold pretty quick. Snatched. But so as far as buying from a place like Craigslist... Probably not a good idea, right? Yeah. Just in general. I don't know if you would agree with that, but totally. I'd, I'd be very hesitant. Totally, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, not a Craigslist fan at all. There's like other sites like Let It Go and whatnot, and more and more times it's stolen items that are on those, and it just freaks me out. I mean, like you obviously want to think that everyone's good and innately good, and uh, it's just scary dude but anyway um on that bombshell if you're not a drone you member and you want to check it out there is a new system on the website where you can take a peek behind the curtains and see what we're all about to see if we're really full of crap or if we're really out to help people and i challenge you to check that out my name is paul my name is rob and this is ask drone you (laughs) 